We begin with something that hasn't happened here in years, deportation flights from Germany to Afghanistan. On Friday, Germany resumed deporting rejected asylum seekers to Afghanistan for the first time since the Taliban retook power back in 2021. A flight with convicted Afghan offenders took off bound for Kabul. Have you ever wondered what happens when a nation chooses to act boldly to solve a crisis after it reaches a tipping point? Once praised as a model of Europe's open border values, Germany finds itself in a challenging position and is now acting dramatically to manage it. Everyone has been taken aback by their chosen strategy. Germany, a country where refugees are officially welcome, not here. Helfen, yeah. We should help them, but back in their own countries, where they come from, not here. We have nothing against war refugees, but the mass immigration needs to stop. Germany can't manage. Germany is feeling the pressure. According to Deutsche Welle, the nation currently hosts almost 3 million migrants. Public opinion is getting more and more split, and political pressure is mounting to previously unheard of heights. But are the government's extreme measures the prelude to a more severe crisis? or will they help to solve the current one? Today we will delve deeply into the dramatic actions Germany is implementing to address its immigration crisis and investigate whether these represent a pivotal turning point not only for the nation but also for Europe overall. Three to six hundred immigrants arrive here every day. This centre in Berlin is where they make their claim for asylum. For many of them, it is the final destination of a long journey to what they see as an Eldorado, Germany. One of the most cosmopolitan countries in Europe, Germany has long welcomed outsiders, from the millions of foreign workers brought in during the economic boom following World War II to the Protestant refugees of the 17th century, the nation has seen many demographic changes, but a fresh wave of migration, mostly from conflict areas like Syria, Afghanistan and most recently Ukraine, has fundamentally changed the national scene in the last few years. Still, this open-door approach has not come without difficulties. The flood of immigrants has put pressure on integration systems, increased crime rates, and widened political divide. Rising far-right groups and mounting public hostility toward immigrants mirror a country grappling with the very concept of pluralism. Germany recently deported 28 Afghan nationals, all of whom had been found guilty of different crimes, in a significant departure from past policies. This shift reflects a more general change in the national strategy. With the immigration system overrun, almost 3.2 million refugees now live in Germany and asylum applications are mounting. Legal obstacles and postponed deportations have left over 227,000 people ordered to leave the nation still due, creating a huge backlog of cases for the government. A deadly knife attack in the German city of Solingen last week has reignited discussions on migration policy and fighting terrorism. The so-called Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack in which three people were killed. The attack in Solingen carried out by a Syrian asylum seeker who had avoided deportation has greatly escalated Germany's continuous immigration discussion. The German government responded with a set of fresh policies meant to tighten immigration restrictions and boost deportations. Under the European Dublin rule especially, financial aid for asylum seekers is being cut back. Deportations are expected to increase, particularly for those with criminal histories. Germany has signed new agreements with nations like Moldova, Kenya and the Philippines, meant to help deportees in an attempt to speed the removal process. Both supporters and detractors of these actions have responded. Some applaud the tougher approach, while others criticize it as a transgression of humanitarian values. There are significant political ramifications. According to polls taken after the most recent elections, immigration is now German citizens' top issue promoting a tough attitude on immigration, the far-right alternative for Germany, AFD party, has been attracting appeal. For many people, the belief that Germany has lost control of its borders is aggravating their discontent with the present government, which is trying to identify a solution that strikes a compromise between security and humanitarian responsibilities. Based on official estimates, one of the most divisive features of the immigration discussion is the 6.6% Muslim population of the nation, Though Muslims in Germany come from a variety of backgrounds, including Turkey, the Middle East and North Africa, integration concerns still remain major. Many Muslims suffer ongoing social and financial difficulties despite decades of residency, which fuels conflict with native Germans. Particularly in view of growing crime rates, among some segments of this population, public view of Muslims has become progressively negative. Studies reveal that young Muslim men are disproportionately represented in criminal statistics especially in violent crimes, so aggravating tensions. Beyond crime, cultural variations have become hot targets for public argument, 
practices including wearing the hijab or full-face veils have resulted in divisive policy decisions including partial prohibitions on face coverings in public areas. Many Germans add to social mistrust by seeing the visibility of Islamic practices as incompatible with the secular values of their nation. Politically, the gulf is widening. The recent increase in support for the AFD highlights a growing disenchantment with conventional political parties while mainstream leaders are rushing to offer fixes. For instance, CDU leader Friedrich Merz has advocated the elimination of Germany's asylum rights, contending that security comes first above humanitarian concerns. Although some argue that such actions would violate EU and international law, Mertz argues that national security has to take front stage. Caught between domestic needs and foreign responsibilities, Chancellor Olaf Scholz has promised to implement stricter immigration laws, indicating that Germany's liberal asylum policies could not be long from the past. Human rights groups like Amnesty International, who warned that returning people to war-torn countries like Afghanistan puts their life in great risk, have sharply criticized recent deportations of Afghan nationals. Still, the German government insists that these crime-convicted people directly endanger public safety and should be deported in order to safeguard residents. This new age of stricter immigration rules in Germany might very well have repercussions all around Europe. Should Germany, one of the most powerful members of the EU, keep enforcing tighter restrictions, other members might follow suit. This could cause the EU's asylum rules to be re-examined and change the continent's attitude to migration. Inside Germany itself, the social argument about national identity keeps raging. Given Muslims now make a sizable share of the population, conversations on security, cultural coexistence and integration are more important than ever. Many Germans believe that the increasing Muslim presence compromises their traditional values, and as public opinion changes, government pressure to act is just growing. To sum up, Germany's immigration dilemma finds a pivotal point. The current policy changes and deportations mark only the start of a more general and divisive discussion. The nation must negotiate difficult decisions that will determine its future, as well as maybe the future of Europe as political and social divisions widen. Germany's extreme policies go beyond merely the immediate deportations or cutback in financial support for asylum seekers. These choices have ripple effects that reach right into the core of its society, where integration issues have already started to change public opinions of immigration. Germany took great satisfaction in being a cosmopolitan refuge for many years, a model for the rest of the globe. But as migration keeps increasing, the flaws in this system have grown too obvious to overlook. Although meant to solve temporary needs, the new policies of the nation expose long-standing social issues. Given such high immigrant counts, can Germany really preserve its cultural identity? More importantly, will these latest policies help to unite the country or widen political and cultural gaps? These are the questions that linger in the air as Germany reinterpreted its position on one of the most important concerns of our day. The foundation of Germany's present immigration rules are security and safety. Although human rights organizations contend that deportations to areas devastated by war, like Afghanistan, violate international norms, the German government is adamant that those who commit crimes must answer for their actions. This is about restoring control and order inside a nation long regarded as vulnerable to exploitation, not only about political rhetoric. Some contend, however, that these policies fail to solve the underlying issue despite all the tough talk and rigorous actions, economic inequalities, ineffective integration initiatives, and the lack of possibilities for many immigrants in Germany have resulted in social isolation and frustration that provides perfect ground for radicalization and criminal activity. Critics argue that the cycle of unhappiness and crime is probably going to continue without funding improved integration programs, education, and job opportunities for immigrants. They argue that the deportations are only a band-aid covering a far more severe injury. Still, public opinion in Germany is veering toward tougher policies and politicians are answering that demand. If you found this breakdown informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on these developments. Hit the bell icon for notifications on upcoming content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.